are done. And um, though it's a very sad occasion, given the fact that he is not with us, celebrate what would be his 18th birthday. We have come in his stead to speak to you on the progress that's been made in this place. We um, began this investigation back in January of this year, some eight, close to nine months ago. And we've made quite a bit of progress in spite of the evasion, the non-cooperation, and literally the hiding of evidence that would explain how and why Kendrick Johnson was killed. We have attempted to, over these many months, to establish through investigators and statements given to us by people of the Valdosta community, what exactly happened. But much of what we have tried to establish has been in the order of eyewitness testimony, of statements coming from people who have talked to the folks who would be responsible for his death. At this point in this investigation, there is one eyewitness that we know is available. It is the video recordings made from surveillance cameras there in the gymnasium where his body was found. We believe that these videotapes would clearly answer many of the questions that have surfaced over these many months. If this is an opportunity to make a call for action, it is that we would encourage all listeners, all viewers, to petition the Sheriff's Office, the Niles County Board of Education, and any other agency that may have these videotapes to produce them so that the family may ultimately find peace by getting the answer they so greatly deserve. Now, our um, legal team has expanded since the start of this investigation. It now involves the assistance of Benjamin Crump, who many of you are familiar with through the Trayvon Martin case. At this time, I'm going to let Mr. Crump share with you some comments in terms of how we intend to proceed. Thank you, Attorney King. And I, I am honored to join uh, noted civil rights uh, legend like Attorney C.B. King in fighting for the family of Kendrick Johnson. I'm very honored to stand with these good parents. And I am here quite simply because Kendrick Johnson was murdered and we intend to get to the truth of what happened to Kendrick Johnson. This is a murder mystery and unfortunately it's not fiction. This is a real life murder mystery where these parents sent their, school, their son to school with a book bag and he was returned to them in a body bag. It is tragic that the coroner and the government officials would insult our intelligence by telling this family that the manner of death was an accident. It flies in the face of all common sense. So I stand here with Attorney King proclaiming that 
we will solve this murder mystery. We will get to the truth. As Attorney King said, there is an eyewitness, a very objective eyewitness. The truth is right under our nose. We demand the truth. We will get to the truth of who murdered Kendrick Johnson. They expected their child to return home from school that day safe and sound. And they deserve answers to know why their son returned to them in a body bag. As you all know, today is Kendrick's 18th birthday. I want to say to the school, to the sheriff's department, let's give him a good cousin today. Give us a video. Question, is this case now solely based on trying to get that tape? No. The tape, of course, Consider the fact that there are four cameras in the gymnasium where his body was found. You would think that if the tape were to show him entering the match as was theorized by the sheriff, then we wouldn't be here today. But for some unknown reason, that tape has been withheld despite repeated requests by the family and myself to view the tape. The tape, we believe, would greatly resolve many of the issues, including how his body got to the gym if there is no tape or image showing him entering the map. That, of course, would identify possible suspects or persons who would have been involved in his killing. And just add, you have to ask yourself, why wasn't that tape turned over to Attorney King and the family? That's the real question here. Why are they trying to cover up for the murder of Kendrick Johnson? Is that proper protocol to do that? I just want to know. And they told Attorney King the investigation is over. Why not give all the information and evidence so this family can get peace? Part of what we're doing today, and you're announcing you're joining the team. Uh, Attorney Crump, tell us what you believe you bring to this team for the family. I think Attorney King has done a great job, and we're all trying to get as much people galvanized behind this to get truth. We do not want Kendrick Johnson's death to be swept under the rug. We want to bring a national perspective to South Georgia so everybody knows the whole world is watching what happened to Kendrick Johnson. And, and if Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, if you could tell us this is the first birthday that you were spending without your son, and not because he's somewhere else, it's because he's at a cemetery a few miles from here. Tell us about your feelings. You woke up this morning, and you knew it was October 10th. What did you feel this morning, what are you feeling today without him on his birthday? It's a feeling that we wish no other parents here had to go through because Kendrick was the light of the family. And then you have to wake up and see that he's no longer with us. And understand, you know, why they didn't get my son in the I mean, Kendrick was such a great child. And I, I just think, um, 18 years old, he was on the cusp of manhood, and yet we'll never know what the future would have held for Kendrick Johnson. How do you celebrate his birthday today? Uh -huh. Only his birthday. We can celebrate his birthday it's pushing and trying to get justice for Kendrick. We can only celebrate until we have justice. I've asked this question before and I've always been surprised by your answer. I've asked you, have you spoken to Kendrick recently? Do you still talk to him?
did you say anything to your son this morning? I walked into his room and I kissed his picture and said, Happy birthday, Daddy. You know, his dreams, memories will always be there. It will never be. Attorney King, I'd like to ask you one question. When Willie James Williams died in 98, the civil rights organizations here in Valdosta was unable to get the videotape in the death of Willie James Williams, even when we petitioned the courts. My question to you is, what makes you think that you can get the tapes in 2013 when we could not get them in 1998? Well, first of all, the law is on our side. We have researched the issue. Of course, I think that many can recall seeing uh, videotapes of fights on buses uh, and other events that are school related, and there's no issue releasing that to the public. In this instance, we have been told by the school board's attorney that the reason that they are not giving up the tapes is because they consider them to be academic records. If you can imagine that it could at all fit that definition. We think that, as I've said before, the tapes would give us a accurate picture, not one that is subject to interpretation, but if that tape shows either Kendrick going into the map and getting stuck with no children around to save him. That's one thing. But we believe that it will show something entirely different. We think that it will show that he got to the gym through the assistance of some individuals. And um, that's the reason he was found in that location in that position. I have a question for the father. And, and let me add this here. As Dick asked a question to Attorney King, and he, he said no. The tape is not the only piece of evidence. And I think Attorney King and the family have laid out clearly. Uh, CNN did a fine job exposing all the just missteps in this investigation. And even with that, there still is a mountain of evidence to help us get to the truth of what happened to Kendrick Johnson. And it, it certainly must be noted that I stand here with Attorney King to make this a national campaign to make sure that video is released and not just a matter where it could be swept under the rug because nobody is looking. That's so important when you know everybody is looking, saying, why won't you show this family the videotape of the last moments of their son's life? A videotape is objective. It's not biased, it has no prejudice, it has no political affiliation. It is an objective piece of evidence, as attorney said, is the best eyewitness that we have. Mr. Crump, how did you get involved? Did you interject or did were you reach out? The, the Johnson family uh, sought uh, our firm out to work with attorney King and try to make sure we got justice for their son. Because imagine them. Yes, and I know the day is far emotional for Jackie and Ken on his birthday, but imagine them. This time coming, and they just, to get simple justice, something like a death certificate and an autopsy right, they having such a struggle. So they want to make sure they got a good team fighting for them. And I think with Attorney King and our law firm, we're going to fight to the end to make sure they get justice, to make sure we keep asking the tough questions, and to make sure we keep going to this facility. That's equal for all. Equal for Ken, equal for Jackie. Like every citizen in America, only want a simple justice for their child. They ain't asking for nothing extraordinary. Now, it, Mr. Dean, maybe ask you quickly about the uh, condition of the body, the way the autopsy was all handled, and the way it was returned to the family. That's got to be very disconcerting. Uh, extremely. And uh, you can imagine the pain that parents have experienced 
once it was revealed to them the condition of the body when it reached Orlando and was opened up by Dr. Anderson, the father who was whom we hired. Um, I think that as you think about this idea that all of his organs were removed, you have to un wonder why. Why would his organs be removed? Of course, it's been established that the GBI claims that when the body was returned here to Valdosta, uh, all of the organs that they had examined were inside the body. So we do have to take a very close look at what happened between Macon and Valdosta, and uh, what might have been the motive for destroying the organ, uh, or at least at this point, suppose we know them being removed. There is indication by the funeral home director that they were destroyed. We have to accept that as a statement, uh, and perhaps a statement of fact. But the question is, by whom and for what reason? But it is all, in our opinion, uh, somewhat consistent with what happened to his clothes, his personal effects. Uh, these are items that, in police investigations, many times collect what is called trace evidence. And uh, we have not only items that remain in the gym uh, after his body, I will say, his body was brought there. Um, but many of those items were not examined, and to the extent that they were, the identity of the individuals who that DNA or blood uh, may have belonged to, there apparently was no effort to try and make that kind of identification. And as Attorney King has said previously, those clothes, we talk about objective evidence, it is the most basic police investigation in 2013 to do trace evidence investigation for DNA and blood on clothes when you're dealing with a suspicious homicide. But when you really think about it, if you don't call it a homicide, you try to step around all of that. We think that it's at best just total incompetence. And at worst, it's intent to conspire to keep the truth from being revealed to this family. The Sheriff's Office here in Lowndes County and the Lowndes County School District are not the only entities with that DVD, with the video. The U.S. Attorney, Michael Moore, also has it, and he's had it for at least three months. Are you concerned about his commitment to finding uh, or coming to a decision on an investigation in this case? I believe that as a result of a conversation that I had, which I had with um, Mr. Moore as recently as three days ago, that he is making every effort to establish what in fact uh, the evidence shows and what in fact these tapes are showing. Um, so I'm waiting some word from him as to whether or not he can make any of this available to us, that is, he has unredacted reports from the uh, sheriff's file, and he has the tapes, as I understand it. We don't know how many of the tapes, because you understand that on the campus as large as Lowndes High, there are well over a hundred video cameras. Uh, whether he's got cameras or has tape coming from cameras that are not together, altogether inclusive of everything that would have taken place at the time that Kendrick was missing, that we don't know. But uh, we've been assured by him that as soon as he has that information in some shape or form that he can make available to us, that he will. And I, I will simply say this here. The way that tape is going to be released is going to be the people demand it. The people not just in South Georgia, but the people all over America who have children 
who they send to school every day and they expect their child to return and if their child returned to them in a body bag and they had an objective eyewitness with first-hand knowledge, don't they deserve it? The people would demand that videotape be released. Attorney King and I will demand from the courts in the halls of justice that that videotape is released. Okay. Right, thank you. Um, NBC News, we missed the very beginning part. Could you just sort of give us that one more time, just sort of what you were initially indicating? <laughs> I got the end of it. What I, what I just said? Well, no, uh -oh, at the very the beginning whole... of the press conference. Well, essentially all that we said was that today is a very special day because this is Kendrick's birthday. And we want to seize upon this opportunity to draw attention to where we are in the investigation and in our pursuit for justice. And simply put, this is a real life murder mystery where this family tragically, uh, it's real. It's not fiction, it's a real life murder mystery. They sent their child to school with a book bag and he was returned to them in a body bag. And there is the truth out there as to what happened to Kendrick Johnson and we will solve this murder mystery. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you guys. God bless you. As you can see, they're leaving. The people in the community are concerned as ever about the death of KJ Kenneth Kendrick Johnson. We want to thank everybody that participated, SCLC, NAACP, and all organizations, civil rights and human rights organizations. This is George Boston Rand, the Ghetto Free Press. Reporting from the Lyons County Judicial Complex, October 10th, 2013. Peace.